Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're looking in at the leftover spin. We are currently waiting for the big boy bin to finish up so that I can have them start on some new leftovers, but until that can happen, I'm going to feed them a little bit of my original dry food, which is 50-50 cornmeal and ground oatmeal. Then I add a little bit of sand, um, diamite, diatomaceous earth, and recently I've added a little bit of kelp meal just for ac extra nutrients just in case it's necessary. So these guys have been sifted a lot lately and taken out everything that I could to harvest. So I'm just going to put probably about a half a cup yeah, let's see. Yeah, about a half a cup in there, and then I'm going to moisten it down. You can tell there's quite a few worms in here, but the consistency is very dry. So I'm going to mix this all in. Instead of just feeding on top or what have you, I'm going to mix it up, give those microbes something to eat, so the worms can have something to eat, at least until the big boys' leftovers are ready for them. Now these worms, you can tell, are they're not huge. I've got my red worms, blue worms, there are some European night crawlers in here, but there's not a lot of big worms in general. I don't usually see, I see a high population in this bin, but I don't see very big worms. So just looking, looking through, you see the blue worms, but they're all pretty small. Like this is probably, oops, this one's probably as big as it gets in here. So quite a bit smaller than the other because Honestly, they're kind of getting the, the bottom dregs of everything. Leftover bedding, leftover food. But it's a pretty high population for what it is that they're eating, so they get through it faster and move on to the next. It's a good way for my impatient method of harvesting worm castings, because otherwise I'd have to wait longer and I nobody has time for that. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do there. I'm going to add some water to this to moisten it up a little bit. Just a little, just a little sprinkle. My sprayer that I use downstairs is died on me here. So not a lot of water but I'm going to put the bubble wrap on top of it and it should equalize a little bit on the higher side for the moisture. But that's, that's it for today. Not super exciting, but in case you were wondering what was going on with the leftovers bin, this is where we are. We're out of the mortar tray, we're into a taller tub, wetted it down, gave them a little bit of snack to tide them over till the big boy leftovers are ready. And that's pretty much it. Got myself some new worm gloves, waterproof, on both sides. Um, it's getting to that time of the season where I actually have to have clean nails. <laughs> yeah, there's a season for that for me. So, give me a muddy thumb up. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that bell icon if you want to know exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good night.